The head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now. A royal diadem adorns the mighty victor's brow. The highest place that heaven affords is his, is his by right. The King of kings and Lord of lords and heaven's eternal light. The joy of all who dwell above, the joy of all below. To whom he manifests his love and grants his name to know. To them the cross with all its shame, with all its grace is given. Their name an everlasting name, their joy the joy of heaven. They suffer with their Lord below, they reign with him above. Their profit and their joy to know the mystery of his love. The cross he bore is life and health, though shame and death to him. His people's hope, his people's wealth, their everlasting theme. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you, and also with you. Gathered together in Christ, let us ask forgiveness with confidence, for God is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We praise you and acknowledge you, O God, to be the Lord, the Father everlasting, by all the earth adored. To you, all angel powers, cry aloud, the heavens sing, the cherubim and seraphim, their praises to you bring. O holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth, your majesty and glory fill the heavens and the earth. The band of the apostles in glory sing your praise. The fellowship of prophets their deathless voices raise. The martyrs of your kingdom, a great and noble throng, sing with 
the jolly church throughout all the world, the song. All majestic Father, your true and only Son, and Holy Spirit, come for her forever three in one. You, Christ, our King of glory, the everlasting Son. Yet you, with boundless love, sought to rescue every one. You laid aside your glory, were born a virgin's womb, were crucified for us, and were placed into the tomb. Then by your resurrection you won for us reprieve. You who opened heaven's kingdom for all who would believe. You who sit in splendid glory and throned at God's right hand, upholding earth and heaven by forces you command, we know that you will come as our judge that final day. So help your servants, you have redeemed by blood, we pray. May we, with saints be numbered, where praises never end. In glory everlasting, Amen, O Lord, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things to your beloved Son, whom you anointed priest forever and King of all creation, grant that all the people of the earth, now divided by the power of sin, may be united under the glorious and gentle rule of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so will I seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples, gather them from the countries, and will bring them into their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the watercourses, and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pastures on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. 
I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Therefore, thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you pushed with flank and shoulder, butted at the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock, and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God. And my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We are his people, the flock he shepherds. A reading from Ephesians, the first chapter. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you and remember you in my prayers. I pray that God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your hearts enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Alleluia, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all his angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? When was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? When was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you would not give me clothing. Sick and in prison, and you did not come to visit me. Then they will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty, a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them, Truly, I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. These will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he leadeth. And where the verdant pastures grow, with food celestial feedeth. Perverse and foolish oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no will, with thee, dear Lord, beside me, thy rod and staff, my comfort still, thy cross before to guide me. 
Thou spreadst a table in my sight, thine unction grace bestoweth, and oh, what transport of delight from thy pure chalice floweth. And so through all the length of days thy goodness faileth never. Good shepherd, may I sing thy praise within thy house for ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Next week, it all begins again. Another year of grace. The first Sunday of Advent. But that's next week. This Sunday, Christ, the King of the universe, is the Sunday at which we come to an end. And we so often think of ends as leaving things behind, but this is, of course, the runner crossing the finish line, the student on graduation day, the courting couple on their wedding day. This, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Too often, far too often, we hear this story of the judging between the sheep and the goats, between those on the right and those on the left, and we think of it as a fearful thing. And it is true. The prophet makes it abundantly clear that there are misguided and misdirected sheep Shepherds who scatter the sheep far and wide, and God will have no patience with that. But what we celebrate this day is the destination, the fact that Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us, and the day is coming when he will say to each and every one of us, Come, You that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Jesus Christ, King of the universe, is the title for the day and it keeps the focus on the King. But remember that he is a King because he has a kingdom. By his rod and staff, which is the cross, he has driven from us the wolves of sin, death, and Satan's power in our lives. Like that loving shepherd, he leads us beside the still waters of baptism to restore our soul with the peace of sins forgiven. He spreads a table before us in the presence of our enemies, the very body and blood of his Son. Our cup runs over with goodness and mercy that follows us every day of our life. And in our life in this world, as we wander through pastures and so easily get lost on the right path, we can know that there is one who will call us by name, who will search far and wide and take us as Jesus' little lambs into his arms and draw us home. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. Come, you that are blessed by my Father. It is the invitation that begins morning prayer. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. It begins with an invitation to come. We may come in person. We may come through the word proclaimed on a YouTube video. 
But where we come is into the presence of our good shepherd. For every day that begins in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is a renewal and a recall of the baptism where the Holy Spirit first called us by the gospel and said, Come. There we were refreshed with our sins forgiven, our failures to assist others in their times of need washed away. We confess that we are by nature lost and condemned creatures. We begin most every service with some form of a litany or not. By what we have done and by what we have left done, we've not loved you with our whole heart. We've not loved our neighbors as ourselves. It is true that if one looks only to us, we are indeed lost sheep of Israel. But that is not all that we see. Because we who have heard the invitation of the Spirit to come are clothed in the holiness and righteousness of Christ so that when Christ, our King, Christ, our Groom, Christ, our Head to our body, when He looks at us, all He sees is what one in love sees when they look at their beloved, a thing of beauty. I was hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was a stranger and you welcomed me in. What Jesus sees on judgment day is his own sacrifice. And so what he sees is his righteousness on us. His righteousness flowing through us. So every small good deed that we have done does not make us one step closer to our salvation, but it does show forth the fruits of our salvation. We seek as God's people here at St. Mark's as a congregation and each of us individually to love our neighbor as ourselves, to love our neighbor as God has loved us. And so we seek to actually make a difference in the life of people. When a visitor comes in, we don't huddle with our already well-known friends, but we reach out to welcome and draw them in so that in our hospitality, they may see a sign of God's kingdom. When someone down on their luck comes by looking for a little bit of help, we don't turn away, turn our backs to them saying, get a job, because God did not turn his back on us. But as good stewards of God's manifold gifts, as we heard last week, we make the greatest investment we can by putting our resources in service of another. And in so doing, we not only show forth Christian love, though we certainly do that, but we in some small way give people a glimpse of what heaven is going to be like. Because heaven is the place where no one is hungry anymore. Heaven is the place where no one is ill-clad anymore. Heaven is the place where no one is sick, where no one is lonely and in prison, where no one is hungry or thirsty. We seek to embody life in the kingdom so that through our witness in word and deed, others can hear the same thing we have heard. Come, you that are blessed by my Father, and inherit the kingdom. There will be those who turn their back on the inheritance, who in a fit of pique with their Father in heaven, will decide they want nothing to do with him and his blessedness offered and they will turn their back on him and in so doing, turn their back on the very one who is the source of love and joy and peace itself. There will be those who turn their back on the very gifts of life that God gives and 
soul will live with, exist without that gift for eternity. But to you, to all who have heard that call, come to me, you who are weary and heavy laden. Come, you are the blessed of the Father. Blessed are the poor in spirit. They will see the kingdom of heaven. We have been blessed because we have been bound into Jesus in word, in sacraments, made one with him. And as he is the king, we will reign with him through all eternity. If we have died with him, we, if we endure with him, we will reign with him. Jesus is the one who brings us these great and precious promise. God has put the power to work in Jesus Christ, whom he raised from the dead, whom he seated at the right hand in the heavenly places. Jesus Christ rules even now above all rule and authority and power and dominion on this earth. His is the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. To him be glory and honor now and forever. Christ, our King. Christ, who invites us into his kingdom as a pure gift of God's grace. Where? With angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we will laud and magnify his glorious name, praising him forever and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Amen. Living together in the faith into which we are baptized, we proclaim that faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In joyful hope, let us come before God in the name of our King, Jesus Christ. That our church and parish community may be a place where the poor are honored, the rejected are welcomed, the sick and recovering are cared for. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy that under the care and guidance of Ashley O'Brien, the children of her four-year-old pre-K class might grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that through the work of the Lutheran Counseling Center, our mission of the month for November, hope and healing might be brought to all who carry the heavy burdens of mind and heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that the campus ministry at Concordia College, New York, might lead both students and staff into faith-filled discipleship, that they might live lives of passion and purpose in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That Matthew, our synodical president, Derek, our bishop, that all bishops, pastors, commission ministers, and deacons may imitate the servanthood of Christ, the Good Shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That President Trump, President-elect Biden, 
All legislators, judges, and government officials may serve the nation and state with wisdom and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That those who provide for the poor, who console the troubled and the grieving, who care for the sick and the dying, may inherit the kingdom prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy that we may see in the faces of the homeless, the hungry, the sick, the abused, the addicted, the face of Christ Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In thanksgiving for all who now share in the promise of Christ's resurrection, including St. Mary, the mother of our Lord, and St. Mark, the patron of our parish, Saint Clement of Rome, Saint Cecilia, patron of musicians, Saint Columbanus, the missionary, Isaac Watts, the hymn writer, Justus Faulkner, Yehu Jones, and William Passavant, Lutheran pastors in the early days of our church in America, and our own Marie Webert and Richard Schrader. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We praise you, O God, you who are Lord of all creation, Father of all nations. Hear the prayers we offer in joyful hope as we await the coming of our Messiah and King, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Nourished by your word, we beg you, Lord, that we who glory in our obedience to Christ, the King of all creation, may live with him always in the kingdom of heaven. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beautiful Savior, King of creation, Son of God and Son of Man, Truly I'd love thee, truly I'd serve thee, light of my soul, my joy, my crown. Fair are the meadows, fair are the woodlands, robed in flowers of blooming spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus shines purer, he makes our sorrowing spirit sing. Fair is the sunshine, fair is the moonlight, bright the sparkling stars on high. Jesus shines brighter, 
Jesus shines purer than all the angels in the sky. Beautiful Savior, Lord of the nations, Son of God and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine.